A rare tropical disease, the Zika virus, is spreading rapidly in parts of Latin America and the Caribbean. In March 2015, the Zika virus first surfaced in Brazil and has infected more than one million people. The International Atomic Energy Agency, the IAEA, and the Food and Agricultural Organization, FAO, have responded swiftly to the Zika crisis. These UN agencies came together to make available a nuclear technology that controls pests by rendering the males infertile with radiation. This is called the Sterile Insect Technique, or SIT. A group of scientists from around the world gathered in Brazil recently to examine SIT's effectiveness. They have concluded that SIT is an efficient, safe and environmentally friendly technique to control pests and fight diseases such as Zika. Conceived in the early 1930s, the idea behind SIT is a simple one. It involves bringing the insects into a laboratory, rearing them in large numbers and sterilizing only the males with ionizing radiation such as gamma or x-rays. For SIT to work, millions of sterile male insects must be released into the wild for several months to outnumber the fertile ones. What is going to happen is that the sterile males are going to seek out the virgin females, they're going to mate, but there's going to be no offspring. So there's going to be reduced population replacement and uh, you will see that after a while the target population is going to go down. At the IAEA's Insect Pest Control Laboratory in Siebersdorf, Austria, entomologists have been developing and improving this technique for over 50 years. It's already been used in around 25 countries, mainly to tackle pests, such as fruit flies and setsi flies. Experts are now developing techniques for the mass rearing of mosquitoes and transferring them to countries affected by Zika to help them integrate SIT into their pest control programs. Over 100,000 mosquitoes from three different species are kept here. Special attention is being given to this one, the Aedes aegypti, which is responsible for spreading the Zika virus. What we have seen in the past is that Aedes aegypti control with conventional control tools has not been very successful. So we consider this as one additional new tool that could uh, be uh, used to integrate with the conventional methods. Scientists have created a special environment for the entire life cycle of the mosquito, from the egg to the larvae, to the pupae to the adult. The pests live, feed and mate in large, specially designed cages. Thorough research has determined the right dose of radiation to sterilize the males without damaging them or affecting their mating ability. In a further step to help countries tackle the Zika virus, the IAEA is providing portable equipment for the rapid detection of the virus. Training scientists from the affected countries to use this system is also underway. When fully implemented and used alongside other control methods, the sterile insect technique could help countries reduce the numbers of mosquitoes and cope better with the diseases that these small but deadly creatures can spread. This report was produced by Louise Potterton for the United Nations.